In this video, we're going to look at the snooze feature inside of Gmail. The snooze feature is perfect when you have something you need to do with the message, but you don't want to do it right now. Use this to take a message and have it return to the top of your inbox at a later date and time. For example, an airline itinerary or appointment reminder, or perhaps a boss emails you and says they want something done in two weeks, but you don't want to start it for a week. Use snooze to return it to the top of your inbox at a later date and time. You can find this feature in two places. When you mouse over a message inside of your inbox, all the way to the right, you'll see a clock icon that says snooze. When you click the snooze icon, you get some default options, such as tomorrow, later this week, this weekend, or next week, or you can pick a specific date and time. If I pick that option, then I can use the calendar picker to pick the date and time that I want it to show up in my inbox. So here I'm gonna have it show up at noon uh, next Thursday. Then click save. Now this will leave my inbox and you see that this conversation is snoozed. Next Thursday at noon, it will return to the top of my inbox. If I need to find it now, I can go to the left side and find the snoozed folder. Here I'll find the email that has been snoozed and I can remove the snooze status if I wanted to. Another option from my inbox, if I open up another message, is I can snooze it while viewing the message. In the toolbar at the top, I'll find the snooze icon and from here I can select the snooze option as well. Here I'll just set it for Monday at 8 a.m. so I can review this next week. You can search for messages that have been snoozed using the search box at the top. In this case, type in in colon snooze and we'll show you all of the messages that have been snoozed as well as tell you when they've been snoozed till. And from there, you can click to change when it's been snoozed or unsnooze it, which would effectively return it back to your inbox. So that's the overview of how to use the snooze feature. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching. Let me know if I can help.